The garden looks very different in winter. Look at that, it's a really hard frost. It has been for a couple of days now. But you can see all the legumes, they've gone. Some of the cabbages are looking quite good with some frost on them. This is leeks and celery. Petals running around the place, loving it. This is our sort of winter greens. There's kale, there's leeks, there's carrots in the ground, uh, broccoli. Over there's some fennel that's still going strong. More cabbages. Oh, it, this is, it looks wonderful, but you can tell very definitely winter time in the walled garden because this is dormant. <laughs> in fact, it's been put to sleep. If we look all the way around, sun coming through the bamboos. It's actually beautiful. Arthur and Dorothy playing on the, uh, the deflated little pool we had for all summer. There's ice in there now, so that's something to play on. They're playing on ice and uh, debris in the freezing cold. Minus seven, it feels like minus seven, it's only minus four actually, so that doesn't really count this morning. Petals having fun. Angela's over by the chickens who are over there. One of the things about a dick this is you have to go and check the water several times to make sure it doesn't freeze on them. That's the chickens, the geese and the aviaries. And over here, I'm looking at all the jobs to be done. All of those trees need a good pruning. And in a couple of weeks time, I'll be in pruning mode. Our bed's here. Alliums and umbellifers over in that one, which is some leeks and green and red celery left. Here, it's kale and broccoli. Looking a bit tired, but completely edible. Fallow one in there. That was um, full of um, legumes, beans and peas. This had potatoes in it. It's now ready to be turned over in the spring. That's Arthur's collection. <laughs> the green bits over there are actually radishes. Dorothy's one, put cabbages in Dorothy's along with some of her flowers and herbs. Then in the corner towards Petal's um, kennel. That's strawberries, leftover salads in that one. Some of the, the cabbages are there. Come down to the side that we had squashes, summer squashes in the first one. That's fennel and carrots in that one. This is our sort of leftover brassicas. More brassicas and chard still in there. Then we got another, um, with carrots and leeks in it. Have a look at how gorgeous the, the vines look with frost on them. They need to be savage back. Yeah, that's necessary. And then along the wall, interesting, there's no frost on that wall. That wall's got no frost on it. If you look compared to other places, the greenhouse looks a bit chilly. I'm gonna go over there in a second. And this is part of our new beds that came in towards the end of last year. And these beds are in this section and uh, we have uh, turnips, kale, Brussels sprouts, again all brassicas and look, oh this is yet to be done, the job goes on forever, yeah looking good. In we come to the greenhouse and Unbelievably, it's cold in here, there's frost on the outside. But if you look, that's um, let's just, oh, we've had something digging in here. What's been digging in my beds? There's some more parsley, rocket still growing there, uh, rocket there. Oh, we've had a bit of a dig up going on in this bit. Have to check that out. Look at the trail cabin here. But, it, uh, it's actually not cold compared to the outside garden because we've got all of this wall which will absorb heat and we've got the low areas here which again the air the cold air sinks and hot air rises out of these around the edges here and the greenhouse is fallow at the minute even though we've got a little bit of salad in it but it is actually it doesn't feel frosted even have some flowers on the rocket so we do come and pick that off. More parsley. Hmm. There's our reserve supply of parsley. We've got some outside, we've got some in here as well. All in all, I think we could just come out and spending an afternoon out here, just getting this even more ready for the spring, but it's the beginning of January, so there's no rush. Yeah, this is 
a chilly morning. Petal has been loving it, running around. Everything's new for her. Yeah, um, the, the one on the left is my wife. You can't see her because she's furred up. And Arthur and Dorothy playing with ice and cold things in a very weak winter sun.